Hey all, it's Mooch. Welcome to Minding Your Maws episode 24. Today I just wanted to talk for a little bit about this crude prototype I did of a cryogenic battery test chamber. Uh, it's being used or being developed to give you an idea of what would be involved in making a, a much more permanent one. This one's held together with just enough duct tape uh, to keep it from completely collapsing. And I wanted to see what it would take to build a chamber that I could use to test the performance of different cells at uh, zero degrees Celsius, minus 10, minus 20, maybe even a little bit cooler than that, find out what happens to performance, their safety, and other things. Now with winter coming and people leaving their mods in the cars overnight, or, or perhaps uh, being out in a construction site or just working outdoors all day, that their devices make it cold, the batteries make it cold. And this something like this would give me a lot more information. Uh, now the heat gets vented out up here. It uses four inches of foam. Uh, this part here, the other two inches, actually goes inside to form the four inch thick wall. And then inside, I have, I used a different jig before, but these are the ones that are going to be used to be able to mount two cells in here. It's about two and a half by two and a half by seven and a half inches, about the size of two fists in here. And you can see how thick, how big the box is just for that small test chamber. And then this door gets pushed into place to create the box. Now, the key to this whole thing's operation is there's no compressor. It's not like your refrigerator or freezer. It uses these solid state Peltier devices or thermoelectric cooler chips, and they are solid state devices. They're semiconductor devices that when you have a current flow through it, one side gets cold, the other side gets hot. The heat acts as a heat pump and the heat gets pulled through the device. Actually, it's this way. And if you take, if you put a heat sink on top here to get rid of the heat, that'll keep pulling heat into this side and whatever is down here can be cooled off if you can get more heat feeding into it efficiently. And that's what this assembly, which I posted online on Facebook, or was it a week or two ago, asking if anyone could guess what this thing was for and a lot of people uh, got it right. It is a Peltier or a solid state cooling assembly. There's two stacks of three devices here sharing the cold side heat sink uh, that circulates, tries to collect heat and pass it to the devices, that heat goes up through and comes out here. And there's lots of insulation packed in through here that I take off. And uh, let me know if you're interested in what decisions I made in, in using the different heat sinks, using a triple stack or a single uh, Peltier device, uh, what voltages I use, etc. If you're interested in, in a few more details, some of the technical parts of it, maybe you want to play around with TECs, thermoelectric coolers, or Peltier devices. I want to make a personal air conditioner, which actually doesn't work very well. But if you want to make a picnic cooler or something like that, or something for your car or truck, let me know down in the comments below. Uh, if you're not interested, well, let me know that too, and I can just go back to uh, doing battery videos. But I thought I'd put this uh, here and give you guys the opportunity to comment on it because uh, there's a lot of research and a lot of work just for this prototype and I'll be moving on to building the final unit and trying to get down to much lower temperatures than the minus 23C that I had reached just in this quick uh, duct tape prototype. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.